I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. When the parable goes off the rails. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing at Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's on every platform and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps us a rolling and keeps that gospel in the ears of our youth. They need that gospel. They need it so badly. I've talked to you in the past about how to read a parable. And generally, um, there I, I've told you to look for Jesus, okay? Um, you'll find him uh, sometimes uh, by, by taking uh, stock of the context, what's above the parable, what's below the parable. Um, also, I've told you to look for the place of the parable where the thing goes off the rails. And so context, Jesus, where it goes off the rails. And I know I'm going to get flack for it because I just said three things and I only counted two, but that's okay. Let's take a look at this Sunday's gospel in the three-year series, this last Sunday's gospel in the three-year series, okay? Which is the parable of the um, workers in the vineyard. There was a man of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into a different country. Now, um, the Lord is having himself a vineyard. That's very Old testament -y. And it's also, uh, the Lord says that he planted a vineyard. That's like Isaiah. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. Wicked tenants. The tenants took his servants, beat one, killed another, and stoned another. And that's stoning, not like the fun stoning. Um, that's stoning like throw stones until you die, stoning. Not fun. By the way, the vineyard tenants, hmm, we're looking for people who beat the servant, um, uh, 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 persecute them, and the like. Sounds like the tenants are the children of Israel, or the Pharisees, and uh, the servants are the Lord's prophets, which means the tenant owner is God the Father. Still haven't found Jesus yet. He sent them other servants more than the first. And they did the same to them. 37. Finally, he apostled to them his son, saying, They will. They'll respect, they'll have regard for my son. If they didn't have regard for his servants... Why would you send your son? And this is the part where the parable goes off the rails. Now, in this parable, it's really easy to find Jesus because he's identified as the son. But what is so wonderful about this parable and the thing that you should take note of is where it goes off the rails. Look, if you sent your secretary, your uh, manager, your um, muscle in, and they didn't do it, you're certainly not going to send your son. Are you crazy? What kind of landowner does this? When the, when the tenants saw his son, they said to themselves, this is the heir. Let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. And Jesus, by the way, is crucified outside of town. When, the, when, the, when, when therefore, verse 40, when therefore uh, the Lord of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? And they said, he will put out those um, kakus, uh, those evil be people uh, to a miserable death and let, and let out the vineyard uh, to other tenants who will give him fruit in their season. the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. So what is this parable about? Well, the, this parable is about getting the Pharisees to confess the gospel in a roundabout way. You see, they are the bad tenants. 
They're the ones that have beaten the prophets, stoned them, and killed them. And then God sends his son into their midst and they crucify him. And so the kingdom of God is taken from them. The management of the vineyard is taken to them and given to other people. The other people is you and me Gentiles. That's what this parable is about. But you find it by finding the son in the parable and finding the place where it goes off the rails. What idiot God would send his son to be killed. Well, the God that wants to save you and me. And that's the glory and the wonderfulness of this parable because people who don't deserve salvation are getting it. And that's people you, that's you and me. We're saved. The stone the builders rejected have come, has become the capstone, even our salvation. I'm Pastor George Barker. I don't know where Thor is. And this has been another Higher Things video short.